Hi, this is Colin again from Per Square Foot. Today we are diving deep into the vibrant heart of District 14, exploring a captivating corner of Singapore where modernity meets heritage. Yes, we are nestled right in Lorong 35 Geelang, a location many recognize for its rich tapestry of history, culture and gastronomic delights. I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in because I want more. However, we are here not to enjoy the food or culture. More interesting for you is the property which I'm introducing you today. It is Ruzu 35, tucked away serenely amidst the lively surroundings of Geelang. With its freehold status, modern design and an array of amenities within walking distance, and last but not least, a truly affordable price tag, I explain to you why this apartment, which I'm going to show you in this video, can be considered an undervalued property, whether you are buying for own stay or investment. To start, let's learn about the property. Ruzu 35 is a boutique project jointly developed by T-Land Limited and Kim Seng Heng Realty Private Limited and completed in 2020. It has a total of 44 residential units offering a mix of 1-bedroom to 4-bedroom units. Let's analyse the unit breakdown to understand why our unit here is probably the best for own stay as well as for your investment. This table shows the breakdown of the units. On the other side, you can see the site plan. To the north, we have Fu Yuan Court. And to the south, we have 1635 residences. We are bounded by a wall with these two neighbouring projects. The only airflow and external views are towards the east and the west. Although the developer has created an open courtyard to allow natural light to flow into the project, the courtyard facing stacks, stack 01, 04 and 05 has virtually no view. Understandably, these are the one-bedroom units. For two-bedroom, two-bath, Stack 03, it is really tiny at 646 square feet. Our unit is Stack 08, also 2 bed, 2 bath. Now, Stack 07 and 08 offers the best layout, facing and size. Our unit sits comfortably on level 5, enjoys an open view and at 840 square feet, it is a very good size for 2 bed, 2 bath. Such a size is almost impossible in newer projects, with similar layout at only about 700 square feet. Even if we compare to the bigger 3 bedrooms, we notice they have floors too. For Stack 02, the size is only 797 square feet, which is really tiny. Furthermore, the living area and one of the bedrooms faces the wall of Fu Yuan Court. For Stack 06, it is probably okay at 926 square feet, but the rooms are much smaller than our unit. And one of the bedrooms faces an air well, which has no view. Therefore, our unit probably has the best layout in the entire project. Having said that, let's examine the floor plan. As you enter the unit, you step into a foyer area that leads to a small recess area. On the right, there's a common bathroom and a common room. On the left, we are greeted with a kitchen area, which opens up to the living and dining area. The balcony connects both the living and master bedroom. Inside, we have a storeroom which acts as a walk-in wardrobe and an attached bathroom. If you are single, or a married couple, or even a small family, you may want to check this out. The layout is extremely functional for your needs without wasted space. If you are looking for a property to invest, you may just consider this unit too. This layout can easily be converted into a two-bedroom dual key by partitioning the entrance area, creating two units which can be rented out separately, increasing your rental yield. Now let's check out the actual property. The contemporary and cozy living room is bath in natural light pouring in through the full height balcony sliding glass door, emphasizing the soft grey hue of the couch. The couch, adorned with its solid pillows, invite you to sink in and enjoy the view of the urban landscape and beyond. Now, over on this side of the hall sits a TV console, hosting an array of decorative items that seem to tell a story of their own. The large abstract wall Art creates a striking focal point, drawing the eye with its myriad of soft colours that echo the room's overall colour palette. Plants, both large and small, are strategically placed throughout the room, infusing life and vibrancy into the space. Now imagine this is your cosy living space, and if you have young child, this little area here could be the ideal play area 
for him or her. Entering the balcony, you can easily extend your living space outwards by simply building a zip track to enclose this space. Now, although we are situated close to Sims Avenue, I can't help but be taken in by the tranquil ambience. It is so convenient, yet at the same time, peaceful. In the balcony, the emphasis is on relaxation and rejuvenation. Plush round wicker chairs, adorned with vibrant orange cushion, invites you to take a seat and soak in the surrounding. A small matching table, topped with greenery, provides the perfect spot for your morning coffee or an evening read. The metal railing with gaps in between offers you an unhindered view of the neighbourhood and the architectural beyond. Now, I need to point out to you one significant advantage of this apartment. Just look out from the balcony. Guess what? We enjoy an unobstructed view. Remember, I mentioned that we are the best tech? This is it. We are high enough to overlook the shop houses below and we are just positioned nicely to the right of the building in front of us such that they are not looking directly into our living area and bedrooms. You maintain your privacy while enjoying this fantastic view. In the distance, those buildings are rather far away. They do not hinder your view. Furthermore, you can see that they are situated at an angle. They are not directly looking into your unit. From the balcony, we can enter the master bedroom. Our master suite's brown upholstered headboard contrasts beautifully with the pristine white walls. A sleek bedside table holds the essential, including a bouquet of fresh flowers to add a touch of nature and romance to the space. The white bed spread, adorned with abstract patterns in early tones, breaks the monotony of the room while a towering indoor plant lends a tropical feel. Now imagine this is your very own private space. Again, we have got full height sliding glass door to allow a lot of natural light to flow into the bedroom. If you like to rest, simply drop the curtains. Moving on, the storeroom functions as a walk-in wardrobe. On the other hand, we have got the attached bathroom. The dining area offers a nice transition between the living area and the open concept kitchen, which adopts a linear arrangement that prioritizes both functionality and fluidity. The cabinetry, swathed in a soft matte grey, seamlessly transitioned to a deeper charcoal tone, creating a harmonious gradient that captivates the eye. The countertop, bathed in pristine grey, stretches generously across the space, beckoning culinary explorations and effortless meal assemblies. The cooking area and the washing area are thoughtfully separated, one on each side, so as not to mix fire with water. Now, just imagine yourself preparing your nutritious home-cooked meals for yourself and your loved ones. Stepping into this minimally study space, you'll find that we have turned this dead space into a functional area. You can use this as your work-from-home area or as your child's study corner. Alternatively, you could also partition up this wall to create a storeroom. Or for investors looking to create a dual key, this area could be the kitchen area for this one-bedroom unit. Now onto the common bedroom. We have a queen-size bed dressed in neutral beige and white that stands out against the light walls. Its plush pillow and comfortable looking duvet suggest restful nights. Looking out, all, right, all the way, we have unobstructed view towards Bar Le Bar. Now just look at those windows on the right. Okay, on the right side. This is what I call standing at the wall, okay, which is pretty sad, isn't it? So that's why I repeat again. This unit is really the premium stack. At Ruzu 35, you enjoy the best of everything. Let's analyze its location and surrounding amenities. Ruzu 35 is strategically positioned just a stone's throw away from Baleba MRT. Traveling on the east-west line, you can reach the central business district in just five stations. Furthermore, Baleba MRT also sits at the intersection with the circle line. You can easily travel in either directions to reach most parts of the city fringe area. Or simply connect to the northeast line at Serangoon, north-south line at Bishan, or downtown line at McPherson MRT to reach all parts of the island. Sandwiched between two major roads, Sims Avenue and Geylang Road, you will also find plenty full of public buses going towards the east or towards town area. 
The seamless connectivity between MRT and public bus services ensures commuting is never going to be an issue at Yuzu 35. For drivers, the nearby Penn Island Expressway and East Coast Parkway offer hassle-free drives to Changi Airport, the Central Business District and other key areas. Pa Leba is also designated as a sub-regional commercial hub under the 2009 URA Master Plan. What this means is, within walking distance to Yuzu 35, you will find four shopping malls, Pa Leba Square, Sing Post, Pa Leba Quarter and Kinex. Together, they offer an unparalleled variety of shopping, dining and entertainment options. This is simply one of the most attractive reasons to stay near Pa Leba. Besides the modern shopping malls, Ruzu 35 also enjoys the convenience of living in the heart of Geelang. Here, tradition and modernity coexist, creating a landscape that harmoniously blends the historical charm of yesteryears with the convenience of urban living today. You find yourself cocooned in an oasis of calm, elevated high above the ground, offering a sanctuary away from the city's constant rush, yet never far from the action. One of the standout features of the Geelang locale is the Geelang Sarai Market. This bustling hub isn't just a marketplace, but a reflection of Singapore's rich Malay heritage. A haven for foodies, the market is replete with stalls offering traditional Malay and Indian dishes, complemented by a range of other Southeast Asian cuisines. Talking about food, you do not need to venture far from culinary adventures. Geelang itself is a food lover's paradise, renowned for its dizzying array of eateries. From the infamous frog porridge and the durian stalls that come alive as the night deepens, to the perennially popular Old Airport Road food centre where the spirit of Singapore hawker culture is in full display, you will find something to satisfy your craving. For those who cherish nature and outdoor activities, simply hop onto the Geelang Park Connector and follow Sungai Geelang towards Tanjong Road. From here, you can easily connect to the East Coast Park or make your way towards the Marina Bay area. Whether it is a tranquil morning walk as the sun rises over the sea or a vigorous evening jog, the Park Connector Network will give you plenty of options to explore the routes leading to the Marina Bay area, Gardens by the Bay, East Coast Park, or even more remote green corners of the island. Education, a cornerstone for many families, is well addressed here. Families have an array of quality educational options to choose from. For primary schools, we have Geelang Methodist School and Konghua School nearby. For secondary schools, Tanjong Katong Secondary, Tanjong Katong Girls and Chongqing High are just a short bus ride away. Around Pa Leba, we notice there are seriously a lack of housing choices at an affordable price. Let's take a closer look and you will understand why. We can compare with Park Place residences. This is probably the best location situated right inside PLQ. However, it is 99 years leasehold from 2015 and priced about 2,200 per square feet or $1.5 million for a two-bedroom that is less than 700 square feet. Katong Regency, another project which enjoys similarly a fantastic location, being right above Kinex and within the same walking distance to Pa Leba MRT as Juzi 35, costs about $1,900 per square feet or $1.8 million for a two-bedroom. Although this is also a freehold property, the pricing disparity is just too big as compared to Rizzo 35. Another potential project is the Waterina. This is a freehold property similar to Katong Regency. The price is about $1,800 per square feet for a two-bedroom. Being an older property that was completed in 2005, the two bedrooms are larger at 1,066 square feet, meaning the overall price will be close to $2 million. Now, that's really a lot of money for just a two-bedroom. Next to the Waterina, we find the Sunny Spring. This freehold property is 25 years old, priced about 1,005 PSF, which appears reasonable. But they do not have two bedrooms. Even the smallest three bedrooms come at a size of about 1,000 square feet, and overall, the affordability becomes an issue at about 1.6 million. Right across Sims Avenue, we have Sims View. This is a 99-year leasehold property from 1994, which means it has a balance lease of only about 70 years. Two bedrooms here come at a size of 969 square feet and cost about $1,300 per square feet or $1.3 million. This price seems reasonable, but why not consider the newer apartment at Drizzle 35, which is freehold, so you need not worry about lease decay and almost similar in size. And this is the problem here at Bali Bar. Almost all the two bedrooms are either costing above $1.5 million or costing close to $2,000 per square feet. Our apartment here sits at a sweet spot of only $1.4 million and a reasonable $1,600 plus per square feet. 
If you do decide to turn this into a dual key and you rent out both units, the expected rental should be about $2,000 to $2,500 for the bigger unit and about $1,600 to $2,000 for the smaller unit. Overall, you are looking at about $3,600 to $4,500 per month, which should be able to cover most of your mortgage payment. Assuming you are taking 75% loan of the asking price of $1.4 million at 3.5% interest and over a loan tenure of 30 years, the monthly repayment is about $4,700. So really, I think this project being so close to Pa Leba MRT and four shopping malls and with a whole array of shops nearby, plus its reasonable asking price of only $1.4 million, which is pretty affordable even for single buyers, should appeal to singles, couples who may want to buy a property each under their own names, or even investors who are looking for a value deal. Now, if you're interested in this property, do contact me at 9329 and I'll be happy to arrange a viewing for you. My name is Colin from Per Square Foot. Till the next video, take care and I'll see you then.